Hi there, my name is Amir. I'm an information security analyst. Today we'll be looking at how we can check our browsers against exploits and vulnerabilities. Let's get started off with the basics. What are exploits and what are vulnerabilities? What's the difference and why should we be worried? In the context for browsers, a vulnerability is essentially a flaw. Now this flaw can sometimes be harmless, other times it could be quite dangerous. An exploit is a piece of code that takes advantage of that very flaw and with serious vulnerabilities this can lead to someone remotely taking full control over your machine. Quite scary right? So how can we check and see how many of these flaws are present? Where can we go that tells us hey your browser is not so secure. Let me show you a cool site that does just that. Splot.io is a free service that I've created that alerts you against present browser vulnerabilities. The best part about Sploit is that there is no download, no installation, nothing. All you do is visit the site, sploit.io, hit the red big button, and all the scanning takes place right there inside your browser. Seems too easy, doesn't it? Well, let me demonstrate Sploit against a bunch of modern browsers that you probably think are secure. We'll test Sploit against Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla Firefox. Let's get started. Google Chrome is quite secure, but can it truly stand up against Sploit? For this demonstration, we are using Chrome version 60 with incognito mode enabled. To test our browser, all we have to do is simply visit Sploit.io, agree to the terms and conditions, and hit the red button. So right now, Sploit is looking for compatible flaws based on the browser we're using to access the site. In this case, Chrome version 60. Okay, not too bad. Sploit found 12 vulnerabilities in Chrome. Besides all the vulnerability stuff, we can see even more core information that helps identify users specifically. Sploit has the ability to identify what system you're using, where you are located, what ports are open on your network, and all the components your browser utilizes like JavaScript, Flash, etc. That's a lot of data. Just think about it for a sec. Every website you have ever visited has access to all this data just by visiting it. I don't know about you, but our privacy is terrible. If we scroll down further, we can see those vulnerabilities in detail. We can individually select each CVE index, common vulnerability exposure, to see what exactly the problem or flaw is. Here are exploits tailored to the browser used to access exploit. Not all these exploits will work. They will only appear if Sploit believes you may be vulnerable to them. Hitting this button will test the exploit on your machine to determine if you're vulnerable. So we're done with Chrome for now. Let's test Sploit against Microsoft Edge. This is the latest version of Edge I'm currently running, version 17. We're going to go back to Sploit.io and run the same test with Edge. In this case with Edge, Sploit found 14 vulnerabilities. We'll go and see exactly what those vulnerabilities are in just a sec. Let's take a closer look at all the data Sploit collects. Right here is the connection info Sploit organizes. What's cool about Sploit is that it runs some scripts in the background to see if it can get your real IP in case you're using a VPN. Here is all the system information like what operating system you have, CPU type, and both browser resolution and screen resolution. We scroll down further and we see the geolocation data it manages to collect. One from our IP database and the other from your browser's own GPS approximation. So two different ways that Sploit can locate where you are. Here's a port scan. Sploit tries to see what application is behind each port. Usually they are meant to be closed. It will warn you if it isn't. And right here, this is the mother load. This is all the browser component data, like your flash version number, whether or not you're running Java. All of this stuff right here is very specific to your machine only. No other computer will have the same exact set of data. And so Sploit uses all of this information to calculate a hash which is displayed at the top. This hash can only be recreated by your machine and your machine only. We scroll down again to see the vulnerabilities it's detected against Edge. I should remind you that this is the latest version of Edge. None of these vulnerabilities have been patched to this day. 
So is Edge really secure? I'll quickly prove to you that these vulnerabilities are still not patched. Let's just highlight the CVE index of one, copy and paste it, and I'm going to quickly find Microsoft's own report on this vulnerability right here. It's definitely compatible with this version of Edge. If we scroll down to mitigations, it says, Microsoft has not identified any mitigation factors for this vulnerability. We look at workarounds and it says, quote unquote, Microsoft has not identified any workarounds for this vulnerability. Cool, right? So if there's no patch, what should we do? Wait until someone creates an exploit out of it? Or should we switch our browser to something more secure? I'll let you decide that one. Let's get out of Edge and try the same test on the latest version of Mozilla Firefox. So this is Firefox version 61. It came out like a month ago, I believe. It's still relatively new. Let's run Sploit and see if Firefox stands to the test. So we go to Sploit.io again, hit run, wait a few seconds, and voila. Sploit this time found zero vulnerabilities. Now keep in mind, Sploit found zero disclosed vulnerabilities. And in the case that it might have missed something, right next to it is an RSS feed of all the recently disclosed vulnerabilities tailored to Firefox by date. I also want to point out, Sploit still managed to calculate that hash we talked about earlier, which means nothing is in place blocking Sploit from collecting and analyzing the specific data tailored to just your machine. In retrospect, every site you have ever visited has access to all the data Sploit shows you. Yes, some of these browsers are really secure against having flaws and exploits that allow attackers to take full control, but most of them don't protect you against fingerprinting and data collection. So keep that in mind the next time you decide to visit some shady sites. So that's my introduction to Sploit. Feel free to run these tests against your own environment and see how vulnerable you are before considering changing your browser. Thank you and see you next time.